But I think for, for I think the I think this satellite is still claiming the turf, right? But for us to have it on yeah. this PC, we'd have to pick it back up and put it back down. But no one else can take the turf. Does that make sense? So we're holding it hostage without we're, actually. We're, we're pretty much holding it hostage, yeah. All right. What if we cut a deal with the uh, Civ Gang next door? I want that fucking arcade. I mean, my plan is to give it to another crew. That's that's what my plan is. Yeah, I mean that's a whole ass plan, and we get an arcade. What? Well, well, okay, but what's the deal? You wanna you wanna give them the turf for the for the whole building? Uh, give them the turf, and we can buy the. I'm down to buy the building because the building is definitely worth more than what they paid. That space is like fucking four times the size of these buildings. So if the power thing is correct, that could be the bulk kind of form for the gang, and we're just fucking we're chilling, you know. Like if I'm right about the whole power thing, and you could just have an unlimited amount of anything, we're just never gonna have to worry about breakers and circuit breakers and buying new buildings to expand those operations. We could just stack it to the moon. And Loki, that'd be a good. This is like a good area for us to operate out of collectively, right? Because we have all the farms already here. We can have a couple legitimate businesses, and we can do like a uh, ice prep and gang shit in that building. Here's the thing, right? I'm I'm all open for the idea. Yeah. It's just like I don't know if like we want to work with Civ Gang. Like, do we want to work with Civ Gang? Like, I like Denzel. I mean, I like Denzel. But uh, I just they they don't, they don't have a good reputation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, right, Denzel called, asked for permission, and lost on the opportunity, oh, already did, having the building, and the next day the bowlers came in, put the satellite down, and left two weeks later. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I like Denzel. I do. Yeah. And, Loki, if it becomes a problem, I imagine it's going to be a lot easier to push out Civ Gang than it would have been the bowlers. Yeah, but with the bowlers, right, is, uh, yeah. you know, pushing them out would have been a, would have been a war. But Civ Gang is gonna be finding the fucking police. You see what I'm saying? It's two different two different fights we're taking on. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Bye. Hey Denzel. How you doing, brother? Hey, how's it going, big dog? How you been? <laughs> Not too bad, mate. Have you been? I go fucking up and waiting for this call for like three weeks. What's happened? Well, what should we what should he we said you, for he said you called me back? He said you called me back. Well, I, 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 I ain't lying. <laughs> I called like, you back. How long how long was the fucking meeting? Fuck me. I bet hey. it was love more, wasn't it? I bet he couldn't make a decision. Hey, hey, you know, hey, you know, it's just, you know, at the time, you know, we had somebody else come through the block. You yeah, know, no, occu occu like occupy the occupy the place. But let's just say, you know, that offer that we first discussed might be on the table again, you know what I mean? Okay. Right. You guys uh, you guys got a turf yet? No, mate, no, there isn't there isn't any. There isn't any, eh? You guys no. you guys interested in having a turf? Uh potentially, yeah. Let's see why not. Okay. Well, you know that uh, that offer stands again. Maybe, maybe you know what I mean. We might be, okay. might be, another, might be option, might be optional. Okay. But um, it would come with something, though. You see what I'm saying? Like we'd have to make an exchange. Okay. What would the exchange be? Uh, why don't you come down to the, uh, Why don't you come into your building and we'll discuss it? Okay. Perfect. Right. I'll see you there. All right. Wait. If they open to the idea, first of all. All right. Hello. Yo. Big dog. Hey guys, good seeing you again. It's been a while, you know what I'm saying? Hi. Yeah, it's been, it's been a little while. So, how'd you guys, how'd you guys board this place, eh? We did. Yeah. What does it look like? You mind if I check it out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. This place brings back memories, eh, Foreign? Nice place. Well, what do you mean? Not for me. <laughs> oh, I used to spend a lot of time <laughs> in this building. <laughs> Kevin, what are you fucking trying to say? What are you fucking trying to say, Kevin? Yeah, for real. It's a nice neighborhood. Oh, this is nice. This is nice, guys. This is actually real nice. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> actually, yo, this place actually is nice as hell. That's, this is why you don't call me anymore, Denzel. I see how it is. You spend all your time in here, right? A lot of time, mate, yeah. It's a nice setup. It's a lot more organized than mine. Ah, well, listen, Denzel, listen. That option we discussed, you know, way back in the day, mm -hmm. is on the table again. Okay. But, uh, you know. We want a little something for it. Okay. What we're thinking is, you know, one of these, uh, just a house down the, just right next to us, you know, neighbors. One of those houses got mm -hmm. a satellite in there that claims the other, the, the second, uh, you know, the second option for the groups, for the turf, right? Okay. And all those buildings. And we're looking to trade it for this place. 
I'll be honest, I can. It's not gonna happen. I don't want to turf that much. Wait, really? Nah. Oh wow. All right. Sorry, guys. But we, as a group, we only have a one house in this building, right? Like we, uh, we don't have anything else in terms of like uh, like square footage, and then like to even do something like this in another property. And uh, we've got plans for this place, you know. Like we got a like license and stuff coming through in regards to like a actual business. Uh -huh. Um, and it's just we don't have much, and to give away kind of a, a building this big is just something that. Yeah, I feel like it would be detrimental to the group at this point. Obviously, I'd love to work with you, but it, on unfortunately, in in those terms, I, I can't do that. We, we've got all the outside is actually uh, already decorated. Um, it, it's just obviously we we need to get the parts to build it right. Um, a lot of arcade <laughs> machines, etc. So it's actually going to be uh, kind of reminiscent of what it used to be. Um, I suppose this is just here for the time being. We're getting some use out of it. Okay. I'm all, right. all good, big dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I say, I, I would love to, I'd still love to do that business. Uh, but yeah, well, there's, there's a lot of people that are in love with, uh, in love with this property. But I, I understand the reason for wanting it, but it's just not something that uh, I can, I can do it this time. Uh, I mean, to be fully transparent, we're, we're talking to a few crews around the city and everybody at bring something different to the table right and what mm -hmm. you brought was this building because obviously um you know civ gang does kind of have a little bit of a reputation amongst certain circles right in, um, in regards to what <laughs> well i'm gonna be honest <laughs> now's not the time or place to get into that um but oh, no, you were you, my you, pick uh, no, I'm, gonna you, you, I'm gonna call you back um no you you can but i mean it depends who you ask right hundred percent, hundred percent. Like if you, you ask, know, if you, know, if you I go and speak you. to, uh, if you go and speak to Barry and the Guild, you know who we push weed for for six months. Um, mm. he, he wouldn't have a single bad word to say about us, you know, in regard to how we operate and push weed, right? Uh, yeah. If you speak and... to like gangs that we've had beef with, like, you know, like the Mana, <laughs> it's mainly mainly the Mana that we've had continuous beef with. I'm sure they'll say, you know, all kinds of things. But, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. You don't have to defend uh, yourself, Denzel. No, I'm not. I'm not defending personally, myself. I'm just saying. Me what, personally, you the were the first is, person right? that I thought of when this opportunity came our way. Um, we're going around. We're talking to different people. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it would be worthwhile for you to talk about it with your crew. If you don't think that the building is on the table, maybe there's something else that we can work out. Else, we'll yeah. just I, I'll, keep I'll having honest, these conversations. It's uh, yeah. It, it it would be my decision. So okay. it, yeah, it's uh. Unfortunately, this time no. All right. The build for the building. All right. Well, you're that's, welcome uh, to, that's uh, just the building, though, right? Like it's still open yeah. to. Uh... 100. percent Like it, it, I think uh, I'm ha I'm happy to work with you guys for the turf, right? We, we're not planning on like being uh, like contesting a group for a turf. We're happy to we're happy to push. We understand what that comes with. Obviously, a bit slower rate of selling, a bit of a reduced, uh, you know, money from the baggies. I understand that, right? Um, we're just looking to progress, you know, what, what we have as a group. Um, I think it'd be a bit different if I was studying this property and we had like three other warehouses or, you know, big properties with a lot of square footage, but we don't, right? Like this is the, the biggest property that we own by a mile. We don't own anything else over like 800 square foot. So it's not like we have, uh, you know, ample properties to do trade with. And I mean, listen, at yeah. the end of the day, properties are inevitable, right? But the amount of people mm -hmm. that are going to have access to turfs, that that at number, it's probably a lot less than the amount of warehouses that'll be in the market in the next two to three months. Yeah, but who knows? You know, that's uh... listen, big dog, you got, you got to think about the long term. You know, what I'm saying like right now, yeah, you know, you might just be selling weed with a turf, but down the line, right? Mm -hmm. Who knows? You know what I mean? I mean, there's hot runs. There's all types of shit down there. Yeah. No one's gotten to that point, right? Absolutely, uh, but uh, but I'll be honest. I, I yeah, I, I can I can stand firm with uh, it, it, this moment in time. Like I said, we'd like to keep hold of this property. No, that's fair enough. I, that's fair enough. I mean, we, listen, it's not like uh, you know that's it. We can still fucking negotiate and come to a different uh, solution. So, uh we we'll speak mm -hmm. to the boys and figure some shit out. I'll let you know. Yeah, I mean, if you need any clarification with. Uh, you know, like uh, like I said, depending on who you speak to in regards to what the group's like. You know, there, there is members of our uh, 
members of the gang that have probably, uh, you know, had conversations in places that they probably shouldn't have had. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to deny that slander and uh, bullshit you. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think uh, the only thing I can ask is we get treated fairly in regards to, um, you know, everybody has an opinion, and I'm sure like if you if you're beefing with somebody or you dislike someone, the opinion's a bit different, right? So we were being uh, we were being told we're not allowed in the south side because we're because we're stitches by the manor. And at the same time, they're out there doing jobs with OTT. A- after they did a diss track on OTT, said he worked with the cops. So, you know, what I'm saying, I mean, which one is it? <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah. Listen, from our POV, I, I feel like we're treating you fairly. Like you're one of the first couple of people that we talked to about this. Mm. I get that, but uh, I think that, and that's all I can ask. Everyone has right. their opinions. And, uh, like I say, I know you guys do good business. Uh, I've done a lot of business with Future and uh, Annie and Ming in regards to the money and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely still up to discuss it further. But in, in terms of kind of property and uh, you know, getting rid of this at the moment in time, it, I can't do that. All right. No, uh, how many enough. people? How many people? I curiously would push if we did go with you guys. And obviously, you'd have to buy the weed from us. Oh yeah, obviously. I mean, that was the agreement in the first place, right? Yeah. How many people do you think? Um, I, I'm not sure without without asking. I mean, we, we, I'll be honest. We kind of come to the conclusion that we're not getting a turf. Um, so we were kind of on the uh, where every everybody. You guys, uh, leaving, you guys have everybody. sellers because you can have um, you have 25 people on the app, right? So yeah, I mean, we we don't we don't have sellers, but it, we potentially could have people to sell. Yeah, I mean, uh, and I know a few people that may be interested in doing it. Right? I mean, if that's something that. Uh, you guys are, are looking to get. I, I don't know how it really works with the turf and the influence and the overall influence. I'm not. I'm not really familiar with it, obviously, because we've not had a turf. Um, a lot of our guys were on the understanding. We, we're pretty much on the verge of everybody leaving how, our hide app and joining other apps to push uh, for the people that wanted to anyway. Okay. Well, listen. The only thing I want, right? The only thing I do want is, um, mm-hmm. you know, I want another crew that sells it, that actually sells. You know, people that actually, you know. Push some weed. I don't want to have some okay. someone that uh, comes and uh, takes a turf and then fucking sell once in a blue moon. You see what I'm saying? That's, a, that's the only like, concern uh, I have. Yeah. And what's the to to hit the like the daily influence for your for your hideout app? What is how many bags is that? Um, I don't know exactly, but it's not that much. Maybe a few hundred. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to stand here and say, oh, yeah, uh, give me the turf, we'll push 10, 5,000 bags a day, right? Well, how about this? How about this? How about you go speak to your boys? Mm-hmm. Tell them that, you know, there's the, the options on the table, right? Ask them if they're willing to fucking sell, they're interested, and get like a feel for it to see how much they're willing to, like, push. Get some type of, like, estimate. What, what, are, you, what are you thinking? Like, I mean, what's what number's in your head? I mean, listen, I, I'm, not thinking of a, I'm, not, I'm not thinking of a specific number, right? But you, you understand, I'm trying to get somebody that's actually going to you know, buy weed from me and sell my weed. Mm-hmm. No, understandable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe speak to your boys, see what they're willing to see, what they say, see how they feel about it, and then let me know. I got to, I've got to ask the question because it's. Uh, I'll be honest, it's, it's on my mind. Why, why is the the turf open? The boilers left. What did they leave for? I mean, that's that's. I mean, that's kind of their business. I'm not going to air it out. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's nothing to do with you guys. Well, they just chose to leave. Yeah, they're out, yeah. Okay. Um, and obviously, being the second gang on a turf, how much does that affect the your ability to sell? Well, I mean, I'm, I don't want. I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm, not to, I'm not going to lie to you. Like you're going to get. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to get paid less. I think. I think it's around fifty-five a bag. Mm-hmm. And you're going to get less customers. But that's just, right. that's just how it is, you know what I mean? No, I understand that. That's that's not what I'm. I'm saying that in regards to, um, obviously me speaking to my people and I'm committing to a number of bags. Because I'm assuming if if is it, is it slower than uh, you know when I used to push for the in Polito, I'm assuming it would be slower than that as a second group on the turf. I I don't know exactly. Like I don't know exactly. You know what I'm, I don't like. I just know it's slower. That's all I know. Okay. Right. Okay. Here's like the way to look at it, right? The reason that you want to, as a crew, go out and push weed 
on this whole like hideout app turf shit is so that you can progress and work towards something down the line right so like mm -hmm. if you have people who are willing to go out there and and do that work it is worth it for you as a crew who wants to potentially be involved with some of that shit now, if no, you guys I, don't give I'm, a fuck uh, about it, then it is what it is, you know? No, what I'm they trying just to do is I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to yep. obviously disappoint you guys in regards to what the expectations would be on that turf. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have people that will push, uh, and obviously I can uh, make sure that there is, maybe we can outsource some people that want to push as well. Maybe some yep. people that have never had, uh, you know, experienced the, uh, you know, the, the best rate of pushing, right? So they're not going to even yeah, complain. you could do that. You would have that ability to do that. And then they yeah. could work under you. You could organize them. You could tax them if you wanted to. That would be up to you. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it would be more of a uh, you know mutually beneficial deal for yourselves. You guys are making more money. I'm not necessarily trying to make even money from this, right? I think it's just so we can stay, uh, I suppose, relevant with influence. Yeah. If if that opportunity was there, but yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a talk, um, and then I'll yeah I'll go back to you. See who's around now and just uh, kind of get them all together. All right. All right. Sounds good, big dog. All right. All right. Well, there goes. well thanks right. for the, uh, like I say, thanks for considering us. But, uh, you know, hopefully we can come to an agreement. I mean, worst case scenario, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wait for another day. <laughs> Don't worry. One day, Denzel. One hopefully, day, big dog. Hopefully.